You are watching CT the live stream. I am CT in Xu Xinjiang, and we are broadcasting this episode live from Southwest China's Chengdu City, the capital city of Sichuan Province. So uh, it's still, you know, it's still a Ch Chinese uh, New Year celebration. So happy Chinese uh, New Year, happy Spring Festival! And today is the fourth day of the Chinese New Year, and people are still here in China. They are taking their days off and celebrating the New Year's. Uh, reg uh, traditionally, the celebration will last uh, 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 until like the fifth. Of the first month in the Chinese New Year, and uh, and in modern time, people take like seven days, a whole week off uh, from work to celebrate the Chinese New Year. Uh, this year has been quite special because of COVID-19, and with a lot of restrictions, uh, control measures still in place, and uh, that it demobilized some people. But still, in the city, uh, while some people may not have the chance to go back. Uh, they are home to reunite with their family, but there are plenty of things to do, uh, just where they are. For example, here in Chengdu, and we're going to show you guys a very technological advanced show here in Chengdu. It's a live show with 3D holographic projections of mythical creatures from a classic uh, Chinese literary work called The Classic of Mountains and Seas, and it is one of the three best known. It works from the ancient China. It rec uh, records like history, geography, again, as well as like creatures, animals, and plants. And for many of the animals uh, recorded in the classic of mountains and seas are considered mythical, but other um, animals and uh, scientists or, or people who have been studying uh, the, the tome have found a modern reference to actual, um, uh, actual you know, living animals. Um, before we go into the exhibition, I want to just give you know our viewers a contest about what creatures that we're going to see for example right here and this is a lantern made in the shape of someone called Qing Luan. it's a green bird and it is uh, a close family to the phoenix it's from the as again the classic of mountains and the seas so these kind of bird um, have a really good singing voice and uh, in the classic tomb um, I mean the writer said that a uh, uh, in ancient time, people used uh, the singing from this kind of bird as the bell at uh, a, horse a horse cart at the couch. And right over here, we have another lantern, handmade from another city called Zigong here in Southwest China, Sichuan Province. And uh, this is called Shao Hao. So it's, uh, it looks just like the Chinese unicorn. Uh, or actually, it is a Chinese unicorn. And it is said to be the firstborn son of Yellow Emperor. And uh, that emperor is considered the, the ancestor of all Chinese people. So that just gave our viewers a context about uh, the, the, the animals or the mythical creatures that are we, in, in the, uh, the show organized to have a draw exploration from the classic of mountains and seas. And now we're going to just jump right into the exhibition hall to see, to have this interactive experience about the live show. But again, because of control measures on COVID-19, I'm going to wear my mask. Inside. So for this uh, exhibition hall, the the uh, is about a one hundred uh, eleven thousand uh, square meters big. So that's about a one and a quarter, one and one third of a football uh, a soccer field. So it's a pretty huge exhibition hall. And before we really go into the dark room for the lies, and we're going to uh, show our viewers uh, some other. Uh, mythical creatures, and of course we have more Chinese unicorns. And this one is called uh, Huan Shu. Shu. So basically, is uh, is a, a horse that uh, can uh, can can defend fire. And and uh, look at that. So that's definitely how we consider it's a mythical. But again, about the classic of mountains and seas, um, there are scholars have been studying the the book saying. A lot of the animals, because of in ancient time the drawing style is very, you know, it exaggerates the, the actual being, and uh, and they're more work into the uh, the classic, and they found out that actually they can draw a reference to living animals, even some of those mythical creatures, and that's just amazing to certain certain extent, just because it's an ancient work with over two thousand years uh, uh, of age. And, and in Asian civilization that have been recording a lot of things. And for classic mountains and seas, it's not just about China. And there are scholars and people have found reference to 
worlds outside of China, in recording in that one. But to talk more about the mythical creatures, the live show, uh, because I'm not an expert and need a little bit of help here, we have Shirley, uh, yes. uh, and she's the deputy general manager of Sichuan International Expo Group, who, you know, the organizer of this uh, this, uh, this live show. So first, you know, uh, it's, a, it's a live show. It has drawn yes. a lot of inspiration uh. from the classic of mountains and seas. And we also, uh, when we saw these lanterns already, yes. but also you uh. make characters, right? Yes, characters. We, we make 15 uh, characters it's originated right here, right? from the classic of mountains and seas. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is uh, called Qin Luan. Uh, it it's, uh, it's, uh, um, uh, looks like the, the pheasant, but with very uh, brilliant feathers and with very nice voice. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we can see oh, some other, way, other characters. That's the bird that we yeah. saw earlier uh, at the opening of the, the yes. program. Actually, it's equally famous as uh, Phoenix. The Phoenix, in, in, yeah, yeah, Phoenix in China. And uh, here we have uh, uh, Shao Hao. And uh, actually, it's uh, the eldest son of the Yellow Emperor. And it's uh, and it's, uh, he, uh, he symbolizes power and uh, sense. Yeah. So we can definitely see. I mean, the show owners have put a handsome face and pretty face on those mythical creatures and to make these characters to life. And that's the effort you guys have been doing to kind of really bring Chinese traditional literary work back into life, right? Yes. But probably we're going to jump right into the live show. Okay. For, for so, a little bit more. Uh, altogether, we have uh, 14 uh, different uh, scenes uh, uh -huh. in this show. Yes. So, 14 uh, scenes for 14 different characters, right? Uh, for 15. Oh, 15. Uh, 14 yeah. scenes for 15 characters. Uh, 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 here, uh, uh, yeah. Here, more lanterns here. Uh, that's the. the, the it's called a uh, Fei Fei. It looks like uh, a, a fox. fox, yeah. But it has like but, nine tails. Uh, no, no, uh, just no, no. one tail, oh, just one, one, tail. one long tail. Oh, okay, one long tail. <laughs> Actually, this is a cultural inheritance from uh, Zigong City in China. Yeah, the lantern yeah. making. Yeah. yeah. And uh, here we have uh, Lu Wu. Uh, Lu is a, a nine-tailed uh, tiger. Oh, so he's a tiger, but not a regular tiger, but with nine tails. Yes. Uh, probably uh, behind the, the tiger, then we can see the nine tails. So that's quite something very interesting, kind of bring like mythical creatures from words into actual lanterns, right? Yes. So what's the uh, creating process for like making these animals uh, I, I, I don't know actually the, the, the exact process, but from my knowledge, mm -hmm. uh, first we have the image, yes, and the then image. Uh, yeah. uh, with the image, we, we design the, the different parts, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we put all the parts together, yes. and so we, we have the, 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 oh, we the, the like image. Uh, so we can also see the viewers here, like people who come here. The, the, they will uh, they interact with the uh, NPC. Oh, uh, NPC. So, yeah. For, so, the, those, uh, so this is uh, the, the prelude of our show. Mm -hmm. uh, and here we have the, the, the girl, uh, we, we can call her Qin Luan. And oh. the, 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 for the audience, uh, uh -huh. they can dance uh, after her. And then they can uh, get some tokens. Okay. Yeah. Tokens? Tokens for them to to, to, to uh, have some interaction in the, in the future uh -huh. uh, scenes. Scenes, yeah. yeah. So this is not the, the, the actual live show, so this is the prelude. Yes, the here's the prelude. And yes. then we, we, we come to the second. second uh, 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 here we have the, the uh, Lu. Uh -huh. But, but for, for, this, uh, for this screen, it's a uh, circular screen. Uh, for uh, 50, uh, 25 meters and uh, not wide, uh, wide yeah. and, si and six meters uh, uh, high. high. Yeah. And so basically, we, for this video, it introduced all the characters. Yes, all the, all the 15 characters, and uh -huh. also some background about uh, the, this show. Uh -huh. So our viewers can pay attention to this club because. As we move into the live show, there are a lot of elements that we can actually found from this uh, this 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 club. Uh, 
So now that we are entering into the the, the, third, the third part, yeah. the, the, the what part? The, the third part. The third part. Yeah. yeah. You can see all the smoke vapor. I think the the, the water mist and the light, the lights, the lamps, and we we uh, this part we we call it Yunhai uh, Zhidie. Like the the at the, the, top, the, the, at the tip of the and cloud, the top of cloud and, and, and yes, and uh, this, yeah. this this part is is guarded by Bi Yi Niao, the the double-headed bird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and he's a love bird, right? Yes, a... <laughs> uh, symbolize uh, marriage and love. Uh -huh. yeah. So it's just it's vapor, right? Uh, it's, 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 it's smoke. It's vape, vapor. This is this is water, yeah, water, yeah. water mist. Yeah, yeah, mist. Yeah. yeah. It's more, more uh, environment friendly. Environment <laughs> yes. friendly. And here we we have a, a six meters tall uh, optical fiber tree. So this is optical yeah. fiber. Look at this. And By the, the way, we're the, not the, in, the, in the live show. And the, the, the color keeps changing. Mm -hmm. uh, totally 10, ten uh, colors. 10 different colors. Yeah. And uh, uh, for the audience, they can also like uh, play play go chase here. Oh, this is a go. This is yeah. The, yeah. If you want to have a go, and yeah. we we'll have the yeah. we'll watch the way. Or well, I cannot play this, but anyway. Okay, I uh, will try. <laughs> but the thing is, like for the first, um, all these parts, they are great for photos, right? Yeah. Yes. And that's one part about like show exhibitors today. They, they need to think about how to draw visitors come here, and they need to take photos places or setups that is it's good for them to take a photo and, and to take home with it with provide them with home. Yes, they and they can also post the photos or videos uh, and their comments. Yes. Yeah uh, uh, the we chat <laughs> or other kind of social media. Oh uh, yes. Uh, and by the way because of COVID nineteen pandemic uh, control measures um, the traffic is is, is, is is pretty limited here, even though it's a huge exhibition hall. But I believe at the peak time, only 500 people are cons are allowed inside of this space. And usually uh, yes. it's 10 times of that number. So that, yes. that means after the show, we only draw about like 20,000 people visits since it's opening last December. However, as Shirley has told us, that people can take a photo and snap and share it on social media. This show yes. has actually generated pretty big chatter on the internet. On just one platform called Douyin, the Chinese version of TikTok, it has generated content related to their show, has generated over like almost like 300 million yes. views. Yeah, exactly. Three, uh, 300, more, more than 300 million exposures. Mm -hmm. And uh, so next we, we will come to uh, the, 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 the Wan Wu Shen. So basically, that's the, the place for all those. So here we, we will see the, the, the god of spring. God when of every spring. yeah, god of spring. So when everything is, comes, is yeah, yeah, yes, uh -huh. everything uh, comes to life in spring. And here we will see the blossoms, the the trees sprout. Uh -huh. sprout. This is blocks? like five five D projection. Oh, it's five D. Yes. <laughs> Maybe we, we can just sit, uh, sit here, sit yeah, here. yeah, and have so a be, be better experience. Yeah. And, and just look at that, and people, of course, can, ah! Oh, <laughs> yes. It's pretty blue on the ground. But of course, people can take snaps and, and enjoy the live show, but and all the projections here. So what is this? Is it like I a whale? That, that something, something like a whale in, in the ocean. Yeah, yeah, I think it's uh. called play, is it? The coin from the classic. The yeah, <laughs> yeah, it looks yeah, like it's, it's, it's a coin. well with a with a horn at the at front. It's got coin from the classic of mountains at sea. Even though it's uh, of course mythical by the look of that, but people can draw like modern real life reference to animals. 
This is very, very beautiful. I think many people just the, the just see this, they just feel the beauty and the, feel the freshness of uh, traditional culture here. They, yeah. They will not uh, think, what exactly is this? Uh -huh. And let's move on. All these things are just prepping people before they actually go into okay. the final show. So what am I seeing here? So here, this is a, a huge uh, rhino. Uh, it's uh, five meters uh, tall. Yes with uh, two uh, large uh, projectors mm -hmm. from each, uh, both sides. Here, may maybe this, here is uh, the best uh, area for, for viewing. And I, I've heard well, that actually the technology is quite difficult because the projector has to be on a 3D project. So it's, it's, uh, it's not just on a flat surface. And they need to pinpoint all those little dots so that it can project uh, the, the animation on the, on the rhino. Yes, and altogether we have 12, 12 different uh, uh, things will be play, displayed on the rhino. So 12 different yeah. scenes. Yeah. So what are we, so that's the ocean, right? Yeah, this is the ocean and the, 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 like the, the, the origin of life. Uh -huh. And the, the, the ocean got frozen? <laughs> yeah. I always see a bird. Just a chihuahua. This is the, the rivers. No. No. <laughs> just, just the bird symbolize the, the life. Yeah, probably yeah. that phrase. So by the way, about fittings were um, were the green bird that we showed at the beginning of the the, the live stream. A lot of people can draw in for uh, reference to like cranes. Like cranes. Uh, Chris and like I mean, it's like a messenger. Yeah, messenger. For, yeah. yeah. So and what is this space for? So this space is is uh, here. We have the stage and the the, 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 the LED uh, screen. And this is this part is mainly for uh, for shows uh, and for some lectures. Lectures. We can also, yeah, we can also have some lectures on the classic of mountains and seas to some uh, students. As many of our visitors are parents and child, they would like to learn something new from the classic. And also, we, we have the, uh, the uh, we have our theme song called the. The, this is the no. This is the dragon, the the spiritual token of Chinese ah. niche. <laughs> we just want the audience to feel the Chinese culture here in this spring uh, festival. Maybe we can, yeah, we will have the riddles. Oh, that's the riddle part? Yeah, yeah, yeah for maybe we, we can show. come to the... And for our viewers, if you have any questions related to yeah. the classic of mountains and seas, what about this uh, live show, uh, feel, feel free to comment below and ask, ask us. And uh, hopefully that we can answer some of them. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah. Actually, I have tried several times. Yes, when you try a little bit harder, maybe you can find some answers the for riddles. the riddles. Oh. Yeah. And when the audience gets the answer, gets the correct answer, they can they can get some souvenirs there. Oh. Yeah. But how does it work? So that, that's the let's find a simple one. Then a simple to try. Sim a simple one. Uh, let me see. So fat beasts on Facebook have come in so nice classic mountains and seas. Hey, maybe here I I I see it's a good 
方好像有一个叫什么来着？我早上好像有有一个叫大泉旁路，好像有一个叫什么来着？有一个叫四四哎，早上我记得猜了一个灯谜叫什么？四季如春。四季如春，那个那个叫什么？叫温暖城市吗？叫什么？那个那个谜面是什么？在哪里？怎么不见了？你换了，你换了一个。哦。Actually, we will keep as many of the riddles have uh audience. The audience have get the answers, so we keep changing the riddles. 啊，我早，我今天早，呃 ，so this morning I saw a riddle. It's called uh. 呃呃呃呃 ，warm 呃 all year around warm, warms, warms all year around, and and the answer is a city in China. 温州吗 ？So is it? 长春 actually 长春 ，like the spring. So the riddle is like it's warm all year round, and to guess the name of a city, it's called Changchun. Literally means internal spring. Yes. Oh, some of the answer. So, for example, this is just a, yeah, yeah, 八九幺。我看一下八九幺是什么。再来会儿了，八八九幺。嗯。八九幺。这个。八九幺。很紧张，对吧？哦，哦。So she, you know what the answer is? It's called. 唇齿相依。哦，哦，意思。So like the, the mouth and teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, being together. Yes. 唇齿相依。It's very hard to explain, but there is a a old slang Chinese like it means like the closeness of like friends or family, and so basically this 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 character yeah it has a mouth the call and the left and a yeah which means two. Yeah. On the left, on the right. So that's uh, that reflects the meaning of the uh, the spot that we just mentioned. Uh, let's go to the the live show. Let's go back okay. to the live yeah. show. But of course, it's a I think it's a great for families. <laughs> yeah, just for people, you know, friends to hang around. It's not just about the souvenir that are going to get you, you know, have have you get a correct answer. But it's often, of course, about the time. Yes. Yeah. Together. And the, 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 for for the pupils, they they will get time thinking, <laughs> and then they, they will be rewarded, and that's a, a good experience for them here. So right now on the screen, slowly, so, that's the introduction, I think, the, the yeah. background about the classic of mountains and seas. And it shows us the, the cultural con uh, connotation about the classic. And uh, Nicholas. And, uh, and, and in that part, uh, we, we, we can stamp on the, on the case. Yes, uh, but uh, I need to drop in for a second. So, Nicholas. Oh. Naya Zerio commented on Facebook watching from Africa. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> I'm not sure if I pronounced oh. your last name right. So we're, we're happy to have friends from so far away. Yeah, of course it's global. Watching yeah. our show. So, uh, yeah. I, uh, yeah, we can we can just stamp on this. We can this. play a, a little song on this uh, little thing. It's, it's Dorian Miyati, is it? No, lo, lo, yeah, lots of examples, rad. just for fun. As many, many uh, uh, children will yeah, <laughs> stamp yeah, on this. Will love this. Yeah. Because the, the the voice and the the the, the colors, yeah, yeah, yeah color keep keep with changing. The, with the tools that we have. See like a bumper. Sure. Okay. And so. Oh. This is the like real a, serious part, right? This is the yeah. answers into the the more like light lightish uh, <laughs> creation of okay, this we, whole we, project. We have lanterns, we have bamboos, or uh, the, very Chinese, the yeah, yeah. yeah, very ch Chinese. And, and this is a great spot for us now, and for people to to, to post on social media. 
pretty nice backdrop when yeah. the when lanterns made uh, made from paper. I think. Yes. Paper, paper lantern. Yeah. And we are seeing the. Yeah, I mean, we see. This is the reception draws the biggest crowds, right? Yes. Yeah. We 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 have the. Shanghai Bai Wen Guan, and this part is guarded by uh, Shao Hao, the eldest son of the Yellow Emperor. Okay, yeah. And here we, we can see their people's wisdom and their, uh, yes. Uh, so remember that at the beginning of the entrance, that, uh, you know, people were asking for the tokens, and they could use it right here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and the, so they can put the token in the machine, and, and then, then the press. press. Their hands. Yeah. And they're going to show a... To, to, to summon a, a, like a mystical creature. That's the rhino. In the, yeah, rhino, yeah. And, the, and then uh, like the girl, she, she will get a, a, a book, bookmark. Like a bookmark, a bookmark okay. like a, can, can be used as a bookmark. Uh -huh. <laughs> but with the image of, of our characters on it. I just want to point out about the light, so how fascinating you see just right here. It's like holographic, but it's not really holographic. So, I think that this is, uh, this is Lu or the... The tiger. Yeah, yeah, the tiger. Yeah, the yeah, the tiger. Mm -hmm. And I heard that actually kids can spend like... Half an hour, or even an hour, just playing here. I'm trying to get yes, all the colors. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so, so well, also, we have, uh, yeah, we have 15 different cards. Uh -huh. And when when the uh, when, when a visitor uh, gets all these kinds of cards, then uh, he can uh, get a little be, gift. Yeah, get. Since it's the, uh, the, the winter uh, vacation and the spring festival, so a lot of uh, children are here. Yeah, because they don't have school right now, right? Yes. And here so we, we can schools? also... This is like, like the, the infrared uh, sensing. Oh, infrared. When we, yeah, when we approach, uh -huh. here you see, maybe... A mythical creature we are a cheer. Oh, that's so good. this is Ni Yu. Okay. It's like a whale. <laughs> so yeah. a, lot of, a lot of whale, a lot of big fish. Like 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 a mermaid, the Chinese mermaid, Chinese or, mermaid or, or a yeah. siren. <laughs> Maybe so you can you can try. Huh? So, so, uh, yeah, you can. can oh okay. it's Zhu Ye. So that's a monkey? Uh, it looks like a, an, an, an ape. Yeah. Oh, ape, yes. So basically that's the sensor. Yes, yeah. Top. So it's an infrared sensor, and once people standing here, and you're going to yeah. show a character, because you can recognize people standing in front of them. Yes. So that's the so tiger. So Shao Hao, yeah. Or yeah. well, no, not the tiger, uh, the uh, unicorn. Uh, the first born yeah. of, uh, yeah. of, of yellow apple. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, right, let's move on. Okay. So uh, this part is called uh, Hua Hai Yi Meng, like mm. the dreamland of, of flowers. flowers. Yeah. And the, here we, we, we have uh, Lin Yu. Lin Yu is the, the, the character for this part. Oh, just, I just summon it, right? Yeah, yes. Yeah. The big fish. Like whale, but it's not whale. <laughs> But with a uh, nice voice, mm. and her voice can also uh, guide the people's uh, uh, journey to home. Mm. So uh, Lin Yu, the Chinese mermaid or the Chinese siren, yeah. uh, can sing to guide uh, her off offspring's home. So yeah. that's the, yes. the logic. Exactly. I do see a lot of kids. <laughs> and I'm, pretty yeah. happy. <laughs> I'm pretty happy. Yeah. And, I think and, they, and they're happy with their, their masks on. And that's something that I found very stri striking and, and someone feel safe. Yes, I think. Because, you know, because of COVID 19, 
to actually have a show like this and also have people enjoy it, it's, it's, it's something that is remarkable to be honest. Yes, and very, very impressive. Mm -hmm. And here is like the climax of our show. So this, this is, is called the, 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 the climax of our show. Mm -hmm. And this is about uh, Yu Jiang, the, the, the god of sea. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's Yu Jiang, yeah. It's not a dragon, but it's not dragon. Looks like a dragon, but uh, has, it's, it's like a beauty here. Uh. <laughs> okay, so the story is about like giving birth, right? Giving yes, birth to the planet. Giving birth to the planets, and then the planet is. Uh, uh, like is devoted by people's uh, desire and uh, greed, oh. and then uh, the, the we also see the fall of the god. Yeah, we see everything uh, comes to life, and then we will see the, the prosperity of the earth. But then we see the greed, the, the, the greed, yeah. So the god of sea died? Yes. But then, so it's like a, a recollection. recollection. Uh -huh. oh. Interesting. So, basically, why a lot of people are enjoying the light we're filmed? I think it's a short. Yeah, yeah. This, 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 this uh, we we have a uh, twenty-five di diameter ball. Yes. Uh, and, and the narrative has told a story about like and, you have mentioned like this. Yeah, ball. and we have uh, like uh, we have seven um, projectors uh -huh. of uh, three of thirty thousand lumens. Okay. So that's a pretty high definition. Yes. I just want to recap of yours about that, what we saw in there, about the narrative. I love the story already. It's about the sea of God, I mean, how yes. it has created the, the, the world, but then the little green thing is, yeah, is like, great. It's actually the, the residents on the planet, but yes. it kind of got the energy, they can fly and they crave more energy from the sea of God. So yes. that it's just uh, people are asking for it and, and actually they just destroyed the sea of God. And in that, Return the world was destroyed. Yeah, so and that's the whole a story world, from the classical. Yeah, politics. exactly. Okay. The whole world is destroyed by uh, by their uh, by people's by great. People's great. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, but, uh, it's, it's a great interpretation, to be honest, just because I've tried to read the classical of mountains and seas. Uh, it's not a long book, but then it's really in the in, in Asian Chinese. So the grammar and the characters are quite different. People have to learn even the Yemen, you know, so, uh, so the people have to learn how to read it. Uh, yeah, but, but then this is a modern interpretation. This is modern interpretation, yeah, of the ancient Chinese culture, and and actually it's uh, this place uh, uh, human, uh, hum, humanity. humanism, yeah, humanism, humanism yeah. yes. And it's it's of course for like family, about with kids, it kind of it, it, te it teaches a lesson. Yes. To, for, 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 for the audience. for the yeah for the children, uh -huh. they will 
uh, to how to be uh, harmonious, how to live a harmonious uh, life with the people around around them. So here we we will come to the next part is about the the fight uh, on Mount Mount Qingchen. Oh, so Qingchen. for this part we have two uh, characters, uh, Zhu Yan and Huan Shu, and. Uh, Zhu Yan is, uh, is uh, look, looks like an, an ape, and Huan Shu is uh, looks like a horse with a with a, a, a horn. Mm -hmm. So that's the one that we saw actually at the, at the entrance. Ball. Yeah, the one that can actually defend fire. Yes. So here we we, we see the the three D mapping. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's a 3D projection of a show that people don't really have to wear uh, glasses. Yes, just naked eye. And with bare eyes, then people can actually see the, the 3D animation of this. Uh, yes. Thing. And here we, we, we see the, the, the whole like the, the whole city comes to life. Mm -hmm. What's the essence of this story? The is uh, teaches us to uh, help, uh, uh, teaches us to uh, be uh, more environment friendly. Mm. So the whole thing is about like environmental issues. Uh, and, uh... Yeah, to to not the animals to uh, take good care of the environment. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is almost the last part. Uh, but, but again, last but, but second. Last, last but one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, we, it's a place like, to, to, thing, to make. Uh, I mentioned about like interactive like, light technology. I found it quite fascinating about this. Like, if I touch a screen, the flowers blossom. Yes. It's very, very auspicious. <laughs> yeah. I can yeah, see yeah. this. Oh, I can see red packets. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's not just flowers, but the red packets. A uh, uh, very important tradition here during the spring festival: red packets with lucky money. Yeah. Oh, and a lot of these tasks. See, the little girl was showing there. This is like like a remake yeah. of the traditional uh, like studies. People yes, use. but they, they can also write down their New Year resolutions here. On the lantern, right? Eh? Yes. The and then the the the. the, the they can put the, the, this uh, picture here for for for, to, uh, for, for, for scanning, project, yeah. for scanning and, project and then all the projects, uh, yeah. So we can you know, let's, let's try to read some of it if if they have some concrete versions. Uh, uh, happy year, happy year, year of the ox, yeah. Yeah, happy the year of. The so and the, someone writes happy oh, birthday. Yeah, happy birthday right over there. Yeah. And the blessings. And this. I love you. I love you. Uh, I heart you. Spring Festival. Maybe we, we, we can write our uh, wishes. Yeah. yeah. So for our viewers online, so what's your wishes? You can send me a comment that I can do it on the, <laughs> on the paper and project on the wall. Yeah. If anyone wants to leave Just. a comment. Yeah. You make a man with she gonna. 
she does a good. So I, w I will write on this here. So, so that would project all the table. Yeah. Like so this kite. is the scanner, it will scan the right. So I I write on the kite. I think it will be displayed there. On the kite? Yes. Because we, we have the image identification here. But Maybe we, I have to wait. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a, it's a pier. Time P, the year of the uh, yeah, ox. The year of ox. Yes. And we, and the, the audience can also write on the lanterns or the, the or the wind bell. Oh, yeah. the wind bell. Right over yeah. There, yeah. So the lanterns, the wind bells, as, as well as the kite. The kite, yeah. And it has a little bit like VR, ER technology, right? Like augmented yeah. reality. This is thing. like the, the, the image identification. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, uh, Your image like, recognition. Yeah. And for this part, we can. Uh, 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 so I think there's an the augmented reality thing. So people can use their phone, WeChat, for, uh, WeChat will for, work, right? Yeah, WeChat. For example, they can scan that. Uh, uh, so okay. I will try. The interface opened up. And I can choose my character. A female or a male. And I can take a selfie. You can take, take a, a selfie, selfie. and I'm then temporarily remove my mask and I'm gonna oh, take a yeah. selfie. Oh, okay. Yes. Adjust it. That's my face. So I, I will be in this character. Yes, and uh, then it will be displayed uh, on the screen. I'm gonna just put my name there. And uh, next. And. Uh, Is it a render? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's you. I think it will wait. Very, very, <laughs> very handsome. I love you. <laughs> I don't know if it's like, like 60% of what I look like, but it's quite cool. I it, can take photo with with you yeah, <laughs> on the screen. Yeah, I take a photo. Yes. This is me and this is me. In yeah. The like two shoes together. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, just stand around here and, and just play a little, you know, play around with all those technologies like augmented tech, uh, reality thing, uh, VR, or just other light, uh, light themed things. And that's they are two exits. Yes. Google. For for this part, the, the the children they can they can play on the slide. So, uh, yeah. So I would consider this is the exit of where the adults. And yes. then here we have the exit for the children. Yeah, yes. <laughs> and uh, so it's a slide. It's a children's slide. Oh, here we can we can see how happy the children are here. <laughs> so here we here uh, we have the motion uh, sensing technology, and the images uh, keep changing. But it's like for the. For the Valentine's Day, which is yesterday, <laughs> with, with little hearts, with roses. Yeah, with and with uh, lotus sometimes. Oh, sometimes lotus. Yeah, oh, yeah I think it's uh, roses with love, hearts. Yes. Whoa! Be careful. So let's come over. Oh, okay. And we we showed our viewers about all those. Uh, um, and the light experience, the interactive experience of the of this expression to really tell a yes. story about the classic of a 
multi size C's. Yeah. But what I learned also is that actually you guys want to expand into other media. Some, and comics and some even immersive, uh, uh -huh. immersive sh uh, performance. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Maybe uh, in the future. And here we have some peripheral products. Mm -hmm. All uh, connected to the classic of mountains and seas. Uh, like no touch. Yes. You know, like oh, the, that's, like that's tea. Tea. Yeah, this is a, a, a lotus uh, leaf tea. Uh -huh. And they also have like red packets, like red packets of uh, with the characters on the, on yes, the envelope, the the red packet envelope. <laughs> so this is definitely, I need to be honest, this is not my first time showing it, I've been seeing this because I need to prepare for my live show. And I ran into a lot of people and they said that uh, they feel happy to have such an exhibition because they feel like your children don't have the time to really learn the essence from the book. And I believe actually in a lot of schools they don't teach like the whole book of the class of mountains and seas, but this at least exhibition can somewhat uh, like spark interest among younger children to, to, to you know have look into all those mythical creatures. And again the book is not just about mythical creatures, it's also about history, geography, etc. About plants and herbs. And um, so there's Called like intellectual property right, uh, right, and uh, and the Chinese people, Chinese companies, including yours, have been kind of really ramping up the efforts to create something using traditional Chinese literary work to kind of spark new hope into people. So why you guys choose like the the classic of mountains and seas to do such a thing? Uh, as you know, uh, many I, uh, IPs emerged uh, in recent years, but for the Chinese, for traditional Chinese culture. Uh, it occupies an important uh, position uh, in the IP industry, and for the um, and we can see from some examples like the the the, uh, the, the animated uh, movies like uh, Da Yu Hai Tang mm -hmm. or the the, mon the Monkey King. Yes. And uh, for uh, and for us, we choose uh, we we choose the uh, uh, classic of uh, mountains and seas as our theme of the show. We would like to have more people to to arouse their interest and their um, and their thinking about the humanism or the relationship between human and nature. Mm -hmm. uh, we want them to uh, have a uh, uh, recreational, immersive, and but inspiring journey mm -hmm. in this uh, show, mm -hmm. and we want them to uh, may, uh, to uh, take uh, to take some time to relax, to be inspired, mm -hmm. and uh, if they, um, they and they uh, from their interaction here they can get some uh, re relaxing time mm -hmm. with their family, with yes. their friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. So, uh, if I did the show will end very soon, in like. Uh, about less than a week. So it opened in December uh, uh, on Christmas uh, Day. Christmas Day, yeah. So it has been like over uh, two months already. Yeah, and actually uh, today is uh, the 51st day of the, 51st the show. 51st day of the show. Altogether we yeah. have 56 days. 56 days, oh, so yeah. less than two months. Yeah. <laughs> so, but anyway, so, that's for staying with us. and. Uh, like I said, it's spring festival time. It's still the, we can see some people choose to visit the live show despite COVID nineteen right now. People are wearing their masks, but they can still laugh. They can still play around. Yes. Um, and and also the show organizers have been uh, play, paying your triple to, to to contain the the pandemic. For example, yeah. limiting the people at the space one and have a soccer fields big exhibition hall yes. like to only yeah. like five. 100 people 500 at the people. same time to yeah. be inside. Uh, anyway, I hope you that you enjoy this show and we're going to continue to have similar live stream to show a part of Chinese culture amid Spring Festival. And stay tuned. And remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, or all the other Chinese social media if you're familiar with. Thanks for watching.